Hello guys, welcome to your reading. We're going to do a quick reading for your sign here, old school style, see what's going on. For those of you that are new, welcome. This is an intuitive channel and so as such, sometimes <coughs> someone needs to hear this, what spirit shows me may not be traditional. Take only what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, see what's going on. Roles can be reversed. It could be third party situation. If you'd like a personal reading, it's down below. Okay, so your inner child is getting ready to move forward, but it's a little bit afraid because that means you're going to move into the heart work. Okay, you've probably taken a tiny peek into what that looks like and you're like, mm, no, I don't like the way that looks. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, um, at the, yeah, okay, thank you, sir. At the end of the reading, I will be going and doing an extended and looking at the energy that you are dealing with, okay? Underlying, we've got the lovers. So this is a reading about love or the choice of love. And overall, we have the Ten of Cups. So I do feel that um, you may either be talking to someone that um, has come back into your life or talking to someone about what your future could look like or you've just seen someone that you're like, that could be my future, okay? Um, it's going to be different for everyone, but the focus is on the future with this energy, okay? What's still impacting from the past, Will of Fortune crossed by the Emperor. Okay, if this person came into your life very quickly and like hit you with a ton of bricks of uh, this is what love is supposed to feel like, then you're like, you were like, holy shit. They were very blunt in the energy coming forward. And um, again, it kind of rocked your world. I think that you don't want to look at that truth right now, okay? Overall energy is the magician because you're focused highly on, you know, manifesting the future. Um, you're like, I can take all the actions to make the future happen, future possibilities, ace of wands and the seven of wands. What this could lead to is it could lead to you moving yourself forward on your own. For some of you, this could mean moving literally moving on your own while the person that you're dealing with has cold feet or vice versa. So let's go ahead and clarify, okay? Ten of Cups. We've got the Six of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. The Wheel of Fortune and the King of Pentacles. Underlying, again, the magician. They're just letting us know that this is very aligned, what we're seeing here. Um, soul bond, absolutely. Came in fast, absolutely. Um, are there, is there cold feet about this? Absolutely. This could be the fact that, you know, someone's built up a world and they're a little bit uncertain of, not uncertain of you, but uncertain of sharing that space, okay? Will of Fortune, crossed by the Emperor, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Wands. Underlying is the Six of Wands. I think that somebody told themselves, I'm never going to get into a situation again where I rely upon someone going about your business, cooking up your life, and all of a sudden, boom. You may have put the brakes on your heart because of the fact that you were like, I'm working on myself, I'm doing my stuff. Commitment is far off in the, in the background and didn't even realize what you were calling in at the time. The magician. We've got the hangman the Three of Pentacles, and the Hermit. Yeah, I do think that um, it's almost like you're waiting for somebody else 
to come to their senses. But you're taking all of this very literally, very mindfully, not much in your heart space. Um, and there's a little bit of that inner child work that's kind of pushing this forward. Again, we've got the Empress here on the bottom. You've been waiting for a while for this. And some of you may think that you don't have much time to make a decision. The clock is ticking for you. Ace of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Future possibilities. Page of Cups. Nine of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Page of Pentacles on the bottom. This is an energy that's like, I've never felt this way before. I'm questioning it. I feel like you're saying, I've felt this way before but I gave everything up for it and I'm not doing that again. And it kind of creates a little bit of a stalemate. Okay. Tell me about Wheel of Fortune, Spirit. The Magician in Reverse, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. You're saying I didn't manifest this, but this was manifested again and again and again and again. Okay, Two of Wands on the bottom. Part of this is because you are being given a choice okay again we started that with the lovers the choice you're being a choice you don't believe that you can do a long distance relationship or that this is being separated is going to keep this moving forward you want to be in one location so to speak in order for this to happen and Again, you're like, I know this is the one, so you should know this is the one. Ace of Cups, Four of Pentacles, again, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, when this came along, this whether it was a thought that you started calling in, or whether it was actually meeting, the alchemy of meeting this person, your heart was blocked off. And suddenly it was like, oh, hey, wait a minute. And there's my queen of pentacles. You are both very highly motivated. And you weren't looking for this, but your heart was asking for this. Three of pentacles. Thank you. Seven of cups. Five of swords. And the devil. The energy that is still trapped here, whether it's on both sides or one side, we've got um, a lot of pain, a lot of multiplicity of relationships and emotions about relationships enfolding on each other and feeling pulled in multiple directions and the inner child's like kind of tired of this for some of you this is not for all of you you may have felt torn in half by parents as a child and this is what's happening here is for you to realize what makes you happy okay and follow that joy eight of cups King of Wands, Seven of Swords, and Six of Cups. There is an offer, I think, that someone wants to make, but I think that the action that comes in, Ace of Wands, comes in before this can be made. Um, again, King of Wands wanted to come out, crossing in reverse, but it didn't quite make it. So, the King of Wands in this deck... Uh, the wizard's deck here is that um, I'm I'm sitting outside. I'm staying outside. I need my space. 
I need my space for the parts of myself that I'm not ready to share. They're willing, again, they'll give you dating, they'll give you page of cups. They know that there's a soul bond here, but they're coming at it from a very immature or very early days, sort of an energy where you're like, that's not where we're at, okay? Let's see what the universe says, and then I'm going to pull an oracle to close it off and head to that extended. Three of Pentacles, Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Strength in reverse. This will build, okay? But there's healing that has to be done. Somebody feels like they're still eating shit from their past relationship, okay? And they have, yes, somewhat friend zoned here and they've learned their lesson about that. Maybe they go out with their friends too much because they're trying to slow this down because they're not ready to share all the parts of themselves yet. So I do think that given time, again, they'll make it to that Knight of Cups energy, but I don't necessarily think that you're willing to wait on that, okay? So let's go ahead and pull an oracle. We're going to pull from the Dreamweaver's Oracle today. If the taste is sweet and good, and when it's time to say goodbye, I feel like what whatever this challenge is, it does go back to childhood, okay? Um, and emotional negligence a little bit here. But this could have started in regards to age 38 or when this started, you started seeing a lot of 11-11. You started seeing a lot of synchronicities. Um, you recognize that this was something for you, okay? Essential meaning, when things are as good as they seem, the blessings of life, life <laughs> being thankful for success and grace. That might have been a message. If you have a child, watch for lives, okay? Um, there are times in life when you wonder if this is too good to be true, if the beauty you see is real, if the love you feel and the forgiveness you offer is as life-changing as it seems. Now is the time to release all your doubts and revel in the bountiful blessings being bestowed upon you. Do not allow any thought of unworthiness to taint this moment or allow any indulgence in the rash act to keep moving forward to distract you from receiving and taking this all in. Slow down and savor this moment. It will not last nor should it, but it does invite your full and absolute attention. Who are you to deny gifts? There are moments in this life when harmony of the universe sings through our bones in such a way that life and your part in it just seems to make sense, let it. Today, if the taste is sweet and good, just trust in that experience and allow it without trying to capture it or force it to stay. This is the moment to remember, and that's a beautiful thing. So, very beautiful. I love this for you. I hope this helps. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Much love. Bye.